The beef between Mac Lethu and Tom McDonald has been crazy since the beginning. Let's do a quick rewind and then we'll get into the update of what recently happened. It's been pretty crazy. So if you don't know who Mac Lethu is, he's trash. <laughs> My bad. Out the gate. I'm, I'm right out the gate. He's a rapper. He thought that he was bigger than a bunch of people after he came out the battle scene and got bigger and started trying to cross over. It was like, I'm better than you guys. And then once he couldn't book those shows anymore and started battle rapping again, he was like, I'm better than you guys. It was like, for real? Still? Still? So when he crossed over once again to YouTube and started doing dad type raps, my man was making songs about making waffles. If you don't shut your simple self up, fam, I don't know why you even think you could come at Tom McDonald, but anyway, anyway, that's a brief description of who he is. If you don't know who Tom McDonald is, he's a dope rapper that he dives into the social commentary and political stuff, but also is just a dope and talented and very, very skilled rapper, fam. He is really, really, really skilled. Really, 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 really. All right, that's enough, bro. That's enough. Now, you might be wondering, what started the beef? That's simple. Mac Lethu put out this tweet. Super subliminal. Psych. No, it wasn't. It was very obvious that he was talking about Tom McDonald. He was out here trying to call him out, but then he was too much of a softy to actually say names. So Tom put out some bait. He put out some bait. And Mac Lethal was not prepared for that. I'll tell you that. See, Tom ain't playing. Tom ain't playing, fam. He is not a joke. And a lot of people might take him as such. And I don't know why still to this day. But uh, that hurt my feelings. And I'm not even Mac Lethal. Fam, before I even could hear anything that Mac said, I kept screaming, fight back. Fight back, fam. Come on, man. Do, do something. I don't think that you're going to win, but you got to defend yourself, fam. Come on. Time out here looking like, looking like Debo in his prom. What chain? That's what he's saying when he pull up on you. Now, Mac, he came out and he replied. I don't know. I don't know why. He might as well have just stopped. But he came out and replied and it, 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 didn't, it didn't go well. I got a little story about a single white female. Her name is Tammy, but you'll need some fine details. She gets up on the internet and argues with strangers because inside she's full of insecurity and anger. Fam. F Mac. Wh what are you doing, dude? Wh what's up with the old school? I went down to the store and I went to tie my shoe today. Hey, 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 hey. If you don't get out of here with that. Ooh. Fam, you, you, you gotta step it up. How you gonna let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Did I bruise your ego, little girl? What are you revealing? Oh, you a fraud. You are a straight fraud. So you were talking about Tom. Ah, uh, you're a loser. No wonder why I can't find this video on your channel. You wouldn't want this to be remembered. Why would you? You wanna sweep this under the rug. Fam. How you snitch on yourself? Oh, it wasn't about nobody, but you got mad about a tweet. So it was about him. Fraud. Damn, this dude sucks. The, the bars is just, it's not hitting. This is really lackluster. The funny part about this whole thing is, Mac Lethal didn't realize that it was all a setup. That first track was bait. Tom was going to come in with a whole nother type of swag, fam. Something that Mac Lethal would not be able to defend himself against because he was not at the level that Tom was. And that's just facts. I gotta call a spade a spade. Come on, fam. This is just one-on-one -on -one of rap. Listen, I think I can hear it. Mac Lethal is hyping himself in the mirror. His wife tries to tell him that she's getting curious. He just yells, Shut the fuck up, it's just Tom Guy's serious. I hoped you would kill it. I'm always an optimist. Thought your response would be flawless and awesome. It's gotta be hard finding time to perfect all your rhymes every night at Narcotics Anonymous. Oh. Oh. That, that's, that's how we, we going at this. We're not even playing no games no more. It's, okay, you, you, you want to get into to the rap battle? I'll show you what a rap battle is. Th this fan, this this looks horrible. And I'm talking about Mac Lethal part. I, I don't think he's going to be able to fight back metaphorically. Mac Lethal is done. This definitely explains why the trajectory of Mac Lethal's career 
went down towards with my man uh with my man Lucifer B. I'm talking about from the TV show. I'm talking about for the TV show, fam. Huh? You ever watch it? It was on Fox, then it ended up being on Netflix. Anyway, I digress. I digress, fam. This definitely explains a lot. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm not even trying. You don't scare me at all. If you did a drive by, I'd wait. Fam. That, that's just the most blatant disrespect. Waving during a metaphorical drive by is crazy. That means you absolutely are not a threat in any way, shape, or form. I'm not intimidated by you. You weak. You soft, you not scary at all. The only thing that's scary is when I see you grab that pen and that pad and you say you better come up with a song. I'm terrified because I think my ears are going to have to suffer. That's what Tom is hitting him with. Dang. This is hurting my feelings, Tom. <laughs> Tom, why are you doing him like this? I was a wrestler. I wore spandex. You were a customer. You did Xanax. I'll take you and your bitch by the ear and then smash you together like Stone Cold's beer. As you can see, this 100% was one of the reasons of why Mac Lethal ain't never been the same. He ain't never been the same. Also, a huge reason was the trash rap ability. What's going on, bro? That, that was the best you had? You were supposed to be the battle rapper. Well, why was you sounding like you ain't never had a battle in your life? Oh, you know what? Let me take that back. You sound like you was battling in the 80s. It sound like you wanted to come out and say, hola, hola. Now you might be wondering, how did this get brought back up? Tom McDonald won the battle, according to everybody. Mac Lethal only responded once and then disappeared after that. <laughs> he was doing content here and there, but he'd been kind of more focused on himself. Well, the reason why this got brought back into the attention of the masses is because Tom McDonald, for some weird reason, wanted to call him out over and over again as a way to avoid Ryan Upchurch, another rapper who's been calling out Tom McDonald. But the last time I battled the man that I trampled, lost his career, and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. The chair. Can we please never do another rap beef again? And by we, I mean you, but like also me because I live in the house. I haven't done one since then. Never again. It went against my whole mission statement. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm gonna need this mission statement and I'm also going to need us to send this to Jenna so we can make a t-shirt with the mission statement on it. So be very clear in what you're about to say. I don't know if it'll make a good t-shirt, but I want my music to empower people and wake people up and inform people and make people feel positive and make people feel happy and make people smile. And what happened in that rat beef was the exact opposite of that. It made one person feel horrible and it fucked up their career and it made them miserable and it embarrassed them and humiliated them. And fucking a year after it happened, there were still people blowing up every fucking post he was making on the internet with Tom McDonald bodied you and shit like that. And as funny as that is in the moment, uh, hindsight's 2020 20, and I like, yeah, it just goes against, I'm trying to make music to empower people, not tear people down. So I'm just, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm just, I'm good on it. Mac Lethal had enough. So he responded, he dropped the song and I'm not going to tell you the name of it. It's a little crazy. It referenced mustache man and all the people that followed tiny mustache man, but he, he dissed Tom pretty hard. He, he, he went crazy. <laughs> Said a lot of wow stuff. Let's be clear about one thing. You started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my I God. thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you That's doing? Crazy. Here's the backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feet. Bring it back, bring it back. Before we even get into the bars, the art is crazy. Because yes, he sure is from Canada, even though you, you would never think the way he be acting like he's from America. This nigga, like, it ain't like he moved over here as a child. This nigga came over as a grown ass man. <laughs> but claim like he from here. That's crazy. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth. But I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound... You probably should have ignored him the first time, but he got you to go back and forth. Yeah, he got you. 
Well, you didn't do more than one, but you doing the first one was kind of a back and forth because he threw the first shot, then you replied, then he replied, which was a back and forth. You stopped it, but he caught you. He caught you with the bait and switch. He caught you with the bait and switch. Got you. Got you. Back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy. He oh, wow. isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting... Ooh, um, how do I feel about that? Ah. Well, after seeing the non-stop attacks at the alphabet community from Tom McDonald and Longwood Adam Calhoun, I don't think... That's too far for a rap song. I do not think that if someone was to even say that they believe that, I don't think Blair White is enough of an excuse for you to argue. I'm not saying it's true. But for a rap song, I'm not mad at it. I ain't, he ain't screw face it. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> if you know what I mean with screw face uh, when it gets uh, up church. Getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song, and for some reason he was kissing. Fine, fight yeah. contract sign. Normally I would have paid this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding mm. my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? That's facts, though. That is facts, fam. You literally ran from Ryan up church and then started taking shots at Mac Lethal, someone that you beat. Why? Like, that's so scary. Could you imagine like a champion boxer, right? And then there's like someone who wants to smoke and they're like, nah, let me go against this person I beat like 10 years ago who ain't even competing right now. Let me let me just go at them instead. And people was like, yeah, he destroyed him on God mode. How? How? That's crazy. Why you take shots at me, man? Are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. King ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd. We even agreed. That's crazy. Wait. Um, he, he, he's going in. Mac, where, where was this the first time, nigga? Like, whoever's on your team, they advised you wrong, nigga. Like, th this is what you should have came with. This is the energy you should have came with. Now, due to the fact that God Mode came out a while ago and he's just now dropping this, either he was busy or it took him a while. All right, this is probably not the first version of this. Right, but this is what you should have came with, bro. This is smoking this nigga right now. Yeah, I ain't hear a single lie yet. That we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it last time. And that's crazy. If they literally talk behind the scenes and they squashed it and all that, yo, Tom is nasty. I mean, he manipulated people because he knew that the general opinion would be that he destroyed Mac Lethal and made him retire. He knew that. Didn't I say that all Tom does is look at the comment sections in Twitter, see what's trending and say it? So by him saying all that stuff in that God Mode song, that wasn't him saying his actual feelings. It was him saying what the fans were thinking. Tom is a fraud. You talked to him behind the scenes and squashed it. Why you didn't publicly say that? Unless you was okay with it looking like you was out here winning. It's kind of similar to like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm saying some pop culture stuff now, but Ariana Grande had a beef with this girl, Victoria Justice. And I remember the fans was going off on Victoria Justice and Ariana Grande just stayed quiet and let that narrative run off for years to where it has hindered Victoria Justice's career and Ariana Grande just rose up. Even though they was cool and squashed it behind the scenes, she allowed all of that. Usually, if you really squashed it, like me, if I go back and forth with somebody and we squash it, if people ask me about it, I'm going to say it on a live stream. Like, oh yeah, we talk behind the scenes, it's all good, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to be known, right? Tom, he just is reeking the benefits. Time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks. Your goofy as fuck. Your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend oh. is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No, the Rockefeller. <laughs> Known for rocking feathers. She was a. She was signing Def Jam. 
under the Russell Simmons era of him running thing. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. If not, it might have been right after. But she was signed to Def Jam for sure. For nigga, for sure. If it wasn't the Russell Simmons era, it was the Jay Z era, which might have been even worse. Yikes. Uh, known for rocking fellas. Mm. Groupie over a Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cuff. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh my God. Oh my. She's vaginally. Yo, this nigga said you're. Nah. He said, I hate to keep pausing it like this. This nigga. Oh, nah, chill. That's some crazy. Uh, That's some crazy artwork right there. Just in the alleyway, though, like that's that's a a football team behind her on the bed and all that. That's crazy. They got bottles all over the floor. This looks insane. That's supposed to be Nova. Yo, Tom, we need a reply. Don't get scared. Don't get scared because you lied. You lied. You said you ended them. Even in the top 10 rappers, your girl is fucked. You know what's crazy? That's, that's wild. I was looking at the comment section because he premiered this. People were saying it was trash and his career was over and it ended eight hours before the song even dropped. What'd that tell you, son? Like, yo, I'm telling you, a lot of Tommy McDonald fans are just sheep. They're just sheep. The people were saying this was garbage before it even came out. Oh my god. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay. What, you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it. Just do it. Quit patting yourself on... Alright, now, some people might think that the racist stuff is too far. I never talk about this because I see it as a joke. Um, and I laugh at stuff like this, but I've gotten some of the most racist fucking comments from Tommy Dotto fans <laughs> since I've been giving him criticism for the last few months. People have said some of the most disgusting racist shit to me and either I just deleted and blocked them or I just ignore it and just never even mentioned it. Uh, so nigga that I don't hear no fucking lies right now. And I always laugh because I'm like, damn, like y'all niggas motherfuckers liked me. When I was saying good stuff about time, why, what's up with all the racist jokes now? <laughs> they be saying some crazy shit to me, bro. Um, but I'll be laughing because I, I think that's actually hilarious. I watch people like Ari Shafir and all those comedians that do those type of jokes. The free trips back to Africa was my shit back in the day, nigga. Free trips back to Africa. Um, but yeah, I don't get offended by shit like that. Seems like Tommy McDonald fans be wilding. And I don't want to put them all on the one eye umbrella, umbrella, right? But it's out there, right? There are some people that go to the extreme and will say some disgusting things on Tom's behalf. You got content creators that say disgusting things on Tom's behalf. So yeah, that's not too far. That's not a reach, is my statement. On the back for the camera lens, you're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Fuck everything. That's funny. I don't know if Tom's racist. I'm, I don't think Tom's racist. I should say that, right? I don't believe so. Um, do I believe that he got some extreme fans? Not all of them, but some that be wilding out? Sure. Yeah, but you can say that about a lot of people. But I don't think Tom's racist. And that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man, rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits. You'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans <laughs> cheer when planes fly over. That's crazy. That is, I ain't even gonna rewind that back. He's going nuts right now. Right, he's spazzing. He's doing what he should have did the first time. For Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. You're a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do wow. anything just to get on the charts. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar?
This nigga was bugging. And his body are ripping apart. Tom, did you? Finally, a rapper is saying something that matters. Is this guy fire trash? The f- <laughs> what? He post that about himself? The white Kendrick Lamar. If you don't cry, you a savage. The white Kendrick Lamar. This nigga think he everybody. He compared himself to Drake recently. He want to be Kendrick. He want to be Eminem. Do you call yourself the white version That's of crazy. Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your wow. road real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. That was a bar. That was a bar. That was a bar. Hard as hell. Is that Tom hanging from the... <laughs> Yo, this is great. This got to be AI art. This got to be AI art that he typed in and said, Yo, put this, put Tom McDonald with long hair, cross Canadian flag. There's a story this about a boy named Tom. He had a rich dad and a racist mom. Damn. I don't know if his mom's racist. I don't think Tom's racist, but damn, that's crazy. No, well, shoot, but- if it's fair, right? If uh, Tom's just gonna lie on his name, right, for years. It's fear. Daddy, here, Nova. Daddy, come here, this girl. Is Sit. Oh, good girl. Here's a treat. Daddy. We got some Tom fans watching, some hate watchers. How y'all doing with y'all bitch asses? Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big. It's got to wait. Oh, he knew he was going to drop this on Father's Day. Girl, here's a treat. Daddy. Because he's saying, <laughs> wait, he's saying that he's Tom's dad. That's why he dropped his own father's day. This is, that's funny. And here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when wow. I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your uh, ego's too big. It's got to be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created. You got. That, yeah, he's lying his ass off. Guys, hit the like button. If you can, hit the like button. If you a hate watcher, you can kiss my black eye. Hit the, hit the like button though, guys. If you're not hate watching, it lets YouTube know that you're rocking with what you watching. Gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you. I don't know if he watching my videos. <laughs> sound like it though. I don't know if he watching my videos, but it sound like it. Cause yeah, what Tom saying he was the first to do political rap is insane. In me. You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you haven't. You know and, nothing about. And that's only a few. That's only a few. Hip hop started off on some straight political ish, but whatever. It's all right. It's all right. Tom, of course, is uneducated in that and just assumes that he's the end all be all. Imagine someone not even from this country coming here and saying that they invented something that was invented here. Years prior to they before they was even a thought. I don't even think Tom was born, nigga. About the culture, oh, wow. Second Amendment, right guns coming about the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. You wanna be a? That's funny. He probably couldn't do it. Nas' first album. American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag, and now you're getting toe tagged on every single song. You use that same dead flow. Your girls like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe. I should have known that you're a damn. (laughs) Yo, Mac is destroying this nigga, bro. If Tom don't reply, he's trash, bro. He's a he's a straight fraud in my eyes. Snake, the type of person reply, that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake. Call a truce, declare peace on the landscape, then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying crazy. to crazy. Wow, Tom's a sucker if he did that, bro. How you squash it with somebody? Make it seem like everything's all good. And then you out here and lying on some, yeah, yo, Tom's disgusting. Or once again, I want to make sure I state this to run away from Ryan Upchurch just because you don't want to smoke with Upchurch. That's it. 
Snake, bro. You rap like Jesus, but in real life you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. When I Nah, that was that was fire, huh? He said I got whiplash. So it makes me smack my students, like the film Whiplash with my man um Ah, oh, what's his name? Nigga from Spider Man. A man that plays the, the newspaper guy from Spider-Man. He's a dope ass actor too from those insurance commercials and shit too. Not yeah. battle a rapper shit. I'd rather do it live. I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice that you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice and say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks when I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slash shit. Facts. We can battle on King of the Dot. Facts. Facts. I say the same thing. <laughs> same thing with Adam Calhoun, Mises, the whole Tom McDonald cartel. Right? Everybody under the Tom McDonald cartel, they self. I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch last year. We could battle on King of the Dot. Your girl Bobby. knows all those dudes. She's seen all their cocks. We could battle up in Canada. Oh. So, wow, it took me a second. Canada Dot, is that the, the battle league in, in Canada? I think Drake came to a few of those and hosted. Why? Why Tom McDonald ain't never come and host one of those shows? And he calling you out to a battle. You said, <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Hold on. I said, didn't that say Knox Hill would explain his subtitle? <laughs> Where? Where y'all see that at? You lying. Because <laughs> Knox Hill would explain. Man, them niggas don't know what they talking about. Him or Cliff Beats. They don't know what they talk about. Right in your hometown. I'll let you pick the city and venue. It goes down. And I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you. Because in hip hop, there ain't a bigger fraud than you. I went on tour with D12. Those dudes are my new friends. They showed me some video you made for Eminem. They told me they were in the studio with Slim. When he watched it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. Eminem. If that's true, that's crazy. And this dude do be clout chasing Eminem, bro. Like, he goes really hard to try to get Eminem in his favor. It's really weird. It's pretty damn strange if, if I have to say so myself. Pretty damn strange. Eminem doesn't like you. He does not respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it? I'm sorry, buddy. I know that's not how you envisioned it. You thought he'd call you like, hey, Tom, it's Slim Shady. You're so controversial. How are you this crazy? You want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the live ladies having mixed babies? That's what he thought. That's what, that's what he dreams of. He be sitting home. Laying in his bed next to Adam Calhoun. My bad. I was in his dream, in his dream. And then Nova sitting on the other side talking about hot dogs. They said, Hey, Nova, you want to talk about Jesus? She was like, I want to talk about hot dogs. Did Tom tell you to say that? <laughs> Tom told you to say that. Hey, yo! Oh! Yeah, oh! Yeah, I ain't like it. I ain't like it. I didn't like it. And how the Mexican border is being invaded by woke Palestinians causing inflation. We'll call it White Boys Part 12. It'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that censored Candace. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Nah, that was funny. He said Ben Shapiro. Uh, I guess it was a quick flash in the corner. Let me see if I can. What bar was it at? What bar was it at? It was during this portion? I did not see that. Ah, oh, man. It was a quick flash in the corner. Tell me what bar was it at? I want to make sure I catch that pause. I did not see that at all. See, yes. Okay, so where is it at? Around three something? All right, we have 50 50 right now. Let me see if we could catch it. Pause. 
So around this one. Ego's too big. It's got to be deflated. Trying to say political. Around there. Somebody give me a time. <laughs> I ain't going to find If it was that quick of a flash, I ain't going to find it. Around him saying, Daddy, in the beginning? So before this even starts, you said three minutes. Hold on a second. Oh, he had a rich dad. Nova, daddy, dear Nova. Daddy, daddy, here's the drum one. Your ego's too big. Guys, all right, let me stop even searching for it. I don't see it. Somebody give me a time stamp or give me the exact words that's being said so I can find it. If you can, if you can, if you can't, don't worry about it. I'm going to keep going, though. And if you guys can tell me a time stamp or like tell me at least a lyric where it says it, I'll pull it up. It's between three and four. Y'all want to listen to the whole three and four so we can just catch it? Uh, let's see. About a boy named Tom. I don't mind. He had a rich dad and a racist mom. Nova. Daddy. Daddy. Is it before he started rapping? Nova, daddy, here, Nova, daddy, come here, girl, sit, aw, oh, good girl, here's a- I sure hope he ain't copyright striking people with this, bro. I really do, though, especially the way I'm rewinding. <laughs> I hope he don't. Yeah, no Tommy McDonald copyright the hell out of me. I'm hoping he don't. Free. Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big. It's got to be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre. I don't, guys, I don't want to see him keep replaying the same thing for you guys. All right, I'm going to just keep going. If anyone can tell me a timestamp. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I had me looking in the upper corner. This is in the bottom corner. Okay. Right around this part. like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube did. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so it was the whiplash bar that he said Knox Hill explained. Well, we don't need Knox Hill to explain that. I did. <laughs> oh, wait. 24. Thank you, Biggs. I appreciate you. So it's around this bar. The stab by Brutus, but I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. All right, so I don't know if he's like co signing Knox Hill, saying like he the only nigga that could break that down, but I literally did when I heard it. Yeah, the whiplash bar. I'm, I believe he's talking about the film because the nigga was smacking his students. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we caught it. We caught it. At least we can't say we missed anything, even the words on the screen. <laughs> didn't get to do a song with that. your hero. At least you got to do a song with <laughs> hero. The dude that censored Candace Owens views quick. And he said that rap yes. music isn't real music. And he tried to yes. say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial yes. over the edge. I'm kidding. He did say that, though. What's he talking about WAP and Cardi B? He said maybe uh, Knox Hill was a student. Maybe he's calling out somebody else that's in the Tom McDonald cartel. I feel like that was more of a cosign. Saying that Knox Hill would explain it. I don't know. It sounds like more of a cosign. If he is he saying that Knox Hill is his student? Or is he saying Knox Hill breaks down bars so he'll be able to explain what this bar means to you? It sounds like more of a cosign. And if it is, I ain't hating on it. I don't think Knox Hill the only nigga that would know what that bar means. Nobody cares about bar. your facts and your feelings. As you make music uh, for people that store. It's a hard bar, but it's not a hard bar to understand, is what I mean. For the edge, I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes for white trash, inbred people that snort crank and uh, dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR 15s in classrooms that never heard of Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. <laughs> Wow. What? So he's pretty much just going in on how he's not hip hop, which I kind of I'm agreeing with, especially when you're saying stuff like you the person who invented political rap. Nigga, you crazy. That sounds nuts.
that makes me really second guess if you know anything about hip hop. You make music for people that hate black dudes, people that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos, people that say the N word while playing Call of Duty, people that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot. I don't care about the N word. We're like just being sad at all in general. Cola, dude, that's crazy. Incels that are terrified of sex and people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized. Well, this one sound like you worked on it. I, I wish you did that the first time around. I wish you did that the first time. This joint is smoking Tom. This right here is destroying every diss that Tom did against you. Tom has to reply, in my personal opinion. You ran from up church. Now, what you gonna say? Uh, he's beneath me. I already destroyed him. No, nigga. Especially when you was lying about behind the scenes. Last, I needed to try to cut beyond the surface and instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself. It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth. But the money, fame, Louie and Gucci, it didn't help. You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt. Put it around your neck, kick out the stool, then kill yourself. You need It's crazy. Yo, he's going off. <laughs> Oh, somebody said it was good, except for the leftist talking points. Hmm. Now, when Tom McDonald do songs at all, right, in general, do people say it sounds good besides the right talking points? More conservative talking points? Or how about when he diss people, when he says things about people being woke or anything of that nature? But wouldn't that be considered conservative or right talking points? Does Tom do anything without political talking points at all? That's a trick question. The answer is no. He does not do anything without political talking points. So, yeah, that's a fair assessment. Um, that might just be something that you personally don't rock with, like anything that's like leftist talking points. Or, but just because somebody said it on the left don't mean it might not be true. Just because someone said it on the right don't mean it not be true. I think we got to start, in my personal opinion, putting on the political stuff to the side and just talk about real things and just factual things, right? If everything this dude is saying is facts, whether it's a left talking point or not, still, it would be true, in my personal opinion. Know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm not going to mind it if Tom does this nonstop. If Tom is doing <laughs> talking points from political stuff constantly, I'm not going to get mad at a political talking point going towards him. It's only right. If not, then it's not fair. Know what I mean? Tom could just do whatever he want. And then now when people talk about him or just they're not allowed to do whatever they want, that just wouldn't be a fair um Way for me to judge this. To put a gun to your head and drill yourself, cause to yourself you've never revealed yourself. I swear to God, I know record label execs that managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to? Oh. Wow. Um. Damn. Damn. Um. Yeah, he smoked that nigga. Yo, he he destroyed Tom. I gotta call a space space. I'm not being biased. Or for just listening to it. He smoked Tom, bro. That was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah, he, he destroyed him, man. I think anyone who says different is hating. Right. You can tell from the comment sections, bro, from people that was there before the video even came out. Before the video even came out, bro. Now, Tommy Donald chose to ignore it and do a stream where he really didn't talk about anything but just promote his song that came out a week ago. It's straight crazy how hard he's willing to market and ignore what the fans really want to hear about. But he did hint that he might have something coming up in the next few weeks. We'll see, man. We'll see. Now.
We are live, spur of the moment, unannounced live stream. How's everybody doing? I'm going to jump in the chat in two seconds. First, I have to do the things that I always do, and that is pin my comment to the top of the live chat, and then I have to tell my Discord that I'm not this punctual with our live streams yet. To my comment and pin it. Which is always a task. Come on, get Come to the damn point, bro. Views in uh, just over forty-eight hours, which is friggin' crazy. To uh, this I told you guys that this video was going to be uh, it. It's different. Oh my gosh! I don't know if the song even makes sense without the video. I warned everybody about it. It's here, and man, there's been care, bro. We're trending at number seven on YouTube right now. The I'm sure you guys have been seeing pictures of me, Eminem, and and Eminem that I photo photoshopped myself. And I'm sure you've been seeing me talk what? about Eminem for the last couple of days. And that's because Eminem's new song is number one on iTunes right now. And my new song, Me Versus You, is number two. This nigga is running from the beef in the smoke. To go after Eminem just so you could get your song number one. This is disgusting. Two on iTunes. And look, this is nasty. It's a little bit of friendly competition. Everybody thinks that I friggin' hate Eminem and I, I don't hate Eminem. Hey, what you said? Wait, somebody said the point is on the screen. What you mean? The point is on the screen, BX. I have no idea what you're referring to. What you mean, the point? Are you saying he's the point? I don't know what you mean. What you mean? Eminem. I don't agree with his views and I don't agree with his politics and I don't agree with sort of uh, what he thinks his responsibilities are in hip hop, but th that's totally fine. He's still the fucking goat. He's still the rapper that gave me my start. He's still the, the one of the greatest rappers on earth, but that doesn't mean just because I respect the man does gave you your start. I'm like, I don't know you. Oh, <laughs> It's to promote his journey. He's using this to promote. His, yeah. Doesn't mean that I don't want to beat him. So we've only beat Eminem once before. And that was a couple of years ago uh, when I, re I released Best Rapper Ever. And we passed Eminem on the iTunes charts. We've never been uh, head to head on the iTunes charts since then. So this is round two. We are currently number one or number two. Eminem is number one. And uh, I need you. Yo, Tom. I'm um, gonna be honest with you, pimp. This is this is getting disgusting at this point, bro. This is getting disgusting, my G. Like, fam, what is what are you doing? This is so obvious, yo. You guys to download this shit okay. out of the new uh, song "Me Versus You." Okay. Independently, all of this with no record label. That would be pretty. Oh, and coincidentally, he wants to talk about that now after that Mac Lethal drop. Now is independent, huh? All of this with no record label. That would be pretty friggin' cool. Um, so those are my two Ooh, big things funny. today. I brought all of the new T-shirts. I'm going to show you guys, but uh, but oh, mostly, I just want to say friggin'. He only come to sell stuff. When is the time going to ever go live just to hang out with his supporters? Just to say hello, talk to you guys, get to know you, let you get to know him. Everything this nigga does is marketing, it's to sell something, it's to promote something. Thank you guys. Two million views in just over 48 hours on this song that so can't even thankful. exist without a music video. It doesn't even make sense without the, and it will push us up the charts and help us climb the charts and hopefully get into the top five. So this spam from the comment section with F the system on the new video. And let's see if we can trick. That's crazy. I don't, I don't even think you supposed to be allowed to even say some shit like that. Um, but yo, this is nasty. This is nasty as hell. Hear that algorithm yeah, and get up into the top five. Point number two, we are one. He's really telling people to help him game the system or game the program or the algorithm. Spot away from taking number one from Eminem on he iTunes in the hip hop category. 
All right, my nigga. Is that what this whole thing? You not one time going to mention this? It's too hard. This is the last. This is the first and only time I'm going to talk about this merch. Um, but you know, it, I don't care about the merch, them. bro. Selling for stuff. people on the internet to do anything at all. So it's fucking. It's hard to get people to tune in and watch a live stream. It's to the comments and just comment f the city. Yo, this is great. <laughs> Yo, this thing is nasty, bro. This is so apparent. It's like clear as day. What are you doing? This is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name, you. Yep. I think he went live to try to distract people away from Mac Lee through this. I agree. I agree. In fact, I think it's not going to work in his favor, though, because he don't know how the algorithm works. Mac Lethal's song might get suggested. More people might find. He went live sending people, whoever was on his live, probably to Mac Lethal's song. Even if he didn't mention it, algorithm-wise system if everybody goes and blows guys how's my audio is my audio good do you have any clicks and pops is up the comment mm-hmm. section that will trigger youtube's algorithm youtube will then populate our video into people's feeds it will climb the trending charts it will put our video on the home page etc etc this thing is nasty okay here go his uh i ain't even gonna call out <laughs> his joint man i'm trying to scroll the comments comment. and it's not working I can never end the stream. Right here. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. I can't end the stream. You don't know how to work a mic. You expect me to believe he independent? Uh, not a mic, a mouse. <laughs> you don't know how to work a mouse. Eventually either. You want me to so think he independent? I'm live streaming forever. Okay, come on. Scrolling. <laughs> somebody somebody said, did you watch reactions to your song? I haven't seen a single reaction. Love you, Love you too, This baby. mod's got to be... Deleting the hell out of comments asking about Mac Lee through. They gotta be. Oh, I'm back. I don't know what the fuck just happened. The screen went black and all this weird shit happened. It was weird. What the fuck? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. But that's because I grew up in a different era with a different Eminem. So the new stuff is not. Nigga still talking about him. He don't know you, nigga. He don't care about you. The fact that you still clout chasing off of Eminem to get your name out there is nuts, my guy. That That's crazy. Really my bag, but I thought it was great. I thought the video was fucking hilarious, but I still, I still want to beat him on iTunes. I, I have to. We have to. Well, we don't. He makes, <laughs> makes his own beats, can't work a mouse. Yeah. Does everything by himself. Can't work a a mouse. That yeah, sounds crazy. Just got a text from Tom <laughs> to go download his new song. This day, yo. Distraction. Also, over promotion. In an email. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. I mean, I guess he could have beat the machine. <laughs> He already beat the machine. This nigga is just marketing at this point. It's crazy. I think Max will be watched more than his. Probably. On half his live stream. But it would be cool because we beat him once already and it would be cool to beat him again. But there's a lot. It's a huge record, man. It's a big fucking record. Huge. One of his biggest in years and years and years and years and years. But I believe we can do it. So he only comes they thought that I was Tommy Mac from Headley and I was stopped at the American border one time and detained for like 12 hours because Tommy Mac from Headley had some sort of criminal record. It was now shut your ass up the way that the camera spins and it goes from one character and then spins boom. This nigga ain't talking about nothing. He ain't talking about 16 brand new shirts. They all just, all the me versus you gear just dropped at 
Just all he do is sell. This nigga, I ain't play an ad yet. I say, you hope he gets humbled? He might. He might. I'm telling you, his fans are, are going to get tired of this shit, bro. That's why a lot of people believe that it's bots that's doing a lot of this stuff. I am not going to argue with that. I don't know. I know a lot of people within the mainstream industry, they're using bots. So it could be possible, but I don't know for sure. Hangovergang.com. And I think there's a couple of autographed artworks left, uh, single artworks. So this is one of the new shirts. Hangover Gang is on a government watch list. And there's, you can see them. There's a, like 16 shirts laying on the bed back there. If you scroll back in this live stream, I showed everybody all the shirts. Um, but go to hangovergang.com, check out all the new merch and yeah, use merch, the code. Merch, my nigga. <laughs> Uh, fans we love your videos that's so friggin cool happy father's day and i'm gonna know how many of you guys decided to do that and check it out man like use threshold and please when you're watching the new video it's absolutely free and it helps me so much please drop a comment i'm so sick of this shit i'm sick of it all he do is promote I'm literally just pinpointing random times in the video is make sure you watch my video. Make sure you go download it. Make sure you do it. He said that like a thousand times, bro. Mad times. Make sure you go download. Make sure you go download. I'm trying to be Eminem. I'm trying to be Eminem. My name's Tom McDonald. I'm trying to be Eminem. <laughs> I'm the real Slim Shady. This nigga said that. He said he was the real Slim Shady. <laughs> What? The old school Jackie Chan mean? What? Like, that sounds nuts to me. You not the Slim Shady of nothing. Nigga, you don't want to be the bot Slim Shady, nigga. You like the, the robot Bill and Ted. <laughs> Bill and Ted adventure, nigga. The robot Bill and Ted came out of there, nigga. As you, you roll by Eminem, then you come in there, you follow by the whole Tom McDonald cartel behind you. You walk up in there, I'm Slim Shady. I'm Slim Shady. I'm Slim Shady. I'm Slim Shady. You want to be Eminem so bad. Then you marketing like a mother of her. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. That's all he do is sell, sell, sell. He's not the real Slim Shady. He needs to sit the F down. Big facts. Yeah, he's like the Bill and Ted robots, nigga. He just walking. I'm Slim Shady. I'm Slim Shady. I'm Slim Shady. <laughs> Adam Calhoun walking, following this nigga. Mies is walking, carrying Adam Calhoun's long skirt behind him. <laughs> like they on their way to a wedding, he's following him, dropping roses. It's fucking hilarious. Comment on the new video and give the video a like on YouTube. I'll even tell you what to comment. Comment F the system. I'm going to go. I'll even tell you what to comment. This is what you comment. Go in spam. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy, man. All right, well, maybe I should try it. Go to my last video and, and spam. Tom McDonald sucks. Spam. <laughs> Tom McDonald grifting. So, but put that in the, in the comment for my last video that you see. Uh, so this nigga sounds like the biggest grifter of all time. That's why he got the dollar signs tattoo. Uh, let's see. What else? I bet you he starts selling. I bet you right here. He going to sell something. Somebody said, I just commented on your video F the system. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, 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 Eminem's Houdini only has 1.35 million views. That is not true. That video has like 70 million views. Um, wow, I talking about the code new video for 15% off everything. That was sort of the peripheral point, but the two cut this damn thing off. Cut this. How did I know? How did I know? I think Tom McDonald looks bad. He looks horrible. In fact, especially if all the things that Mac Lethal says is true with the behind the scenes and all of that stuff, it's pretty foul. But tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, share the video, and watch another video on this channel. I probably covered a whole plethora of things that you might be interested in. Go to my homepage and check that out. Or, you know, 
Not, I, I don't know. Do whatever you want. 